The recent announcement from the US Supreme Court in the Dobbs v Jackson case is a positive one, as it finally ends the wrong-headed Roe v Wade judgment of 1973, which inferred a constitutional right to abortion under the heading of a right to privacy. This was a legal aberration from the beginning and one which had an extremely negative impact on human rights and unborn life across 50 years. It must be borne in mind that approximately 21,000 Irish unborn babies have had their lives prematurely ended by abortion in the first three years of Ireland's abortion regime. The skyrocketing human life impact of our own uh, abortion law must prompt serious reflection. There has been a serious failure to provide alternatives to abortion or to find a way in reducing these starting abortion rates. The government has buried their hands in the sand on this issue. For over a year now, the government has outsourced any issues which have uh, arisen since the introduction of the legal abortion to the Samaric uh, promise of a three-year review, which has since commenced and is in fact uninterested in addressing serious issues. Instead, its brief has been to concentrate on expanding abortion to the detriment of grasping the nettle and seeking to curb the worst excesses of the Irish abortion laws. Saturday's Rally for Life saw thousands and thousands of people march through Parnell Square, down O'Connell Street and onto Custom House Quay, welcoming the American judgment and asking our politicians to thoroughly re-examine the protection that we offer to life in Ireland. Unfortunately, a lot of rhetoric reacting to the decision has been extremely unhelpful and alarmist. The Taoiseach talked about the appointment of far-right justices to the Supreme Court and warned of a politicisation of the court. This is an unfounded insinuation and it suggests his characterisation of politicisation only works in one direction. In the Dobbs v Jackson ruling, the Supreme Court returned the issue of deciding abortion policy to the people through their elected representatives at state and federal level. It strongly echoes the 2018 referendum outcomes, which empower the Oireachtas alone to decide Ireland's abortion policy. The government should objectively look at the situation for what it is and not try to stoke up culture war arguments. The global narrative is clearly shifting, and I hope that the impact of the recent decision in the United States will further greater, with, and produce further greater efforts to protect human life in Ireland and elsewhere. Thank you. Um, Senator Keoghan brought up uh, the Roe versus Wade recent um, decision in the United States and the debate, I suppose, that has been struck, not just in America, but internationally arising from that. Uh, we have our own three-year review um, of our um, abortion legislation that was passed arising from the Eighth Amendment repeal a number of years ago and as I had uh, committed to beforehand I will certainly organise a debate on that review once it's uh, released by the Minister.